Is E85 okay to run full time on my B9S4 as a daily and it won't ruin the fuel system lines, etc.? Uh, correct. Uh, we, we have not to date seen any fuel system component uh, issues on going back Mark 7 that we really started running a bunch of E85 and stuff. This used to be kind of an issue back in like the mid 2000s, you know. Uh, certainly, I, I want to say it was probably like not even a European market issue where the cars didn't really have components. Uh, but, but I remember, you know, in the mid-2000s when E85 started getting popular, there was a lot of concern over E85 compatibility because nobody really knew. And and nobody had really run E85 for a long time. Certainly, if you go back to Audis from the 80s, uh, Volkswagen's and Audis from the 80s and into the early 90s, those cars are not E85 compatible, which means they have fuel system components that that can corrode like the fuel like the fuel lines going from the gas tank to the engine compartments are mild steel which is fine for gasoline because gasoline doesn't contain water in it um, but e85 is part water uh, you know it's alcohol in it so which is water soluble so um, those it stands to reason that those older cars could and would see corrosion issues long term uh, from being exposed to water on the inside of their lines. Um, but starting in the kind of the B5 era, and especially once um, the factories started doing E85 themselves, so you have a number of Audi models going you know, back to like 10 years ago that were flex fuel, that were E85 compatible. Mm -hmm. All these cars now for years have, have had uh, fuel systems that are anti-corrosive. So... The fuel lines are nylon. The fuel pump itself is, you know, a coated or anodized protected aluminum. The fuel rails are stainless steel. The fuel injectors have stainless steel internals. Um, so Audis and Volkswagens have been E85 compatible for at least 20 years now, you know, uh, maybe 30 years. And we're, we're now in an aftermarket community where you have... Uh, companies like us and dozens of other companies and arguably millions of aftermarket enthusiasts who have been running E85 consistently for 20 plus years. Uh, so there's zero concern for E85 compatibility. I'm not sure why this concern still persists or who's kind of spreading it, but um, I have never heard of one Audi or Volkswagen in 20 years that has had any issues with corrosion uh, running E85 full time? I run E85. I, I've, I've run E85 full time in my car for six months. Um, we have a number of staff members who have been running E85 on and off for ten years in their cars. So right. if there are some other considerations. Uh, you know, if E85 is going to sit, if your car is going to sit for like six, eight, twelve months at a time, then then there's you know considerations there with just E85 in general and anything. Yeah. Um, the fuel can not weather as well as like gasoline, but uh, using it day to day is it's not that. Oh, 